Hello my family members, I hope you all are doing well and staying enthusiastic about coding challenges. Today I have an exciting coding question to share with you that was asked on just 29th August Accenture on campus drive. So without any delay let's go to the question and before we proceed to the question I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding question. Link will be given in the description box and please subscribe this channel. Okay let's go to the question. So the question is about Mary substring of a string. Problem statement is this a string is called a Mary string if the frequency of each letter in that string 1. You are provided with a string S of length n. Find and print the number of Mary substrings of length 4 that can be formed from the given string. If no such string found, then print 0. Input format is this. The input consists of two lines. The first line contains n which represents the length of string s. The second line contains the string s. And the input will be read from the studyn by the candidate. Output format is this. Find and print the number of Mary substrings of length 4 that can be formed from the given string. If no such string found, then print 0. Right? And the constraints are given here. The input string should only consist of lowercase English alphabets and the input sample input is 9 and a b c d e f g g h is the string right and then answer I mean output is 4 in and in the second case the sample input the size of the string is 6 and this is the string and the output is 1 I am explaining how is this output becoming okay actually at first this uh, look at the string if we divide them by four word letters then we will get a b c d at first then b c d e then c d e f then d e f g then e f g g h sorry e f g g and then f g g h right so in how many words or how many substring there are only one i mean the frequency of letter is one that means unique letter in each substring presents no repetition of letters are there how many words or substrings are there look at here carefully f g g h does not meet the condition this also does not meet but a b c d b c d e and c d e f d e f g does contain unique characters so and these these are uh, these, these are length of four right so these four are counted so so the output is four and in this case also if we divide them g f f c and f f c g and f c g i right so we found that only in this two these two cases f is repeated so this should not be count right and this is fully unique i mean the characters are fully unique that's why we are counting one right so i hope you have got the logic right okay let's go to the solution part and before you proceed to the solution i would request you to please pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself assume that this is your exam hall and you are solving the question right so let's solve At first, let me write the code, then I will explain, right? So, def count Mary substring, right? S. S is the argument, right? N is the length of S. And we will check if N less than, sorry. We will check if N less than four if so then return zero right and in this function we will take another driver function or helper function is mary right sub and it will return count of sub dot count c i'm explaining whatever i am writing right 
all the syntaxes in this code will be explained just have patience so mary uh, we are now initializing mary count is equal to zero in which we will store the count of uh, the the mary string right okay now let's run a for loop for i in range n minus 3 and sub is equal to s and we have to slicing use size slicing right i plus 4 to store the sub arrays now check if each mary mary sub if it is true then mary count plus is equal to 1 and it will after that it will return the mary count right so i hope this is okay just run it okay this is okay now write the driver code so input was the size of the string right so int input and the string input right now just uh, store the result result is equal to let me copy that and paste that okay now print the result then it will be okay i think So let's run the code. I hope this will be okay. Okay, let's run. So first input was A B C D E F G G H. Sorry, a nine was the length, and the string was A B C D E F G G H. So the output is four as expected, right? And the next input was six was the length, and G F F C G I. So the output is four as expected, right? So this code is fully okay, right? Okay, let me explain the code a little so that it it could be easier for you. At first, we are defining the function and taking the argument as s, and this n is the length of the s and we, we are checking if n less than 4 then you are returning 0 and then we are defining a helper function is mary which is taking an argument substring right and it is helping or returning to help us a boolean value true or false it is checking if the count of c if the if there is any duplicate value in the substring then it will return false and if it is checking if there is any unique value in the string then it will give true right and we are initializing in here mary count is equal to zero which will store how many mary string are present in the string and we are running a for loop which is from zeroth index to n minus three index because we are storing sub arrays up to four index uh, up to four length four so that's why we have to go visit up to n minus three and we are storing sub arrays by slicing if so and we are now checking if each mary sub that means if the characters in the sub array are unique so mary count plus is equal to one right and then after all the iteration we are returning mary count right and then we are just taking the inputs and printing the results so i hope you have got the logic so i hope you have loved the session before ending the session i would request you to please watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and subscribe this channel thank you for today's session